Good morning, guys. Good morning. Okay, welcome to another diesel class. Uh, today we are going to talk about the, the crankshaft, the connecting rod, the pistons. Uh, a lot of tips, a lot of recommendations about the, how to remove those elements, how to check the clearance on the bearings, how to verify if the crankshaft is, uh, uh, is good or uh, if the crankshaft should be replaced. You re remember at the beginning of the class, I, I said, the engine is, is, is a complete system like your body. And uh, I want that you understand the engine because in the future, the diagnosis will be simple. If you understand what happened in each part, in each bolt, in each screw, in each watcher, uh, you can diagnose it easily. All right, other important thing is this, guys. Uh, the crankshaft, the crankshaft is hollow. You see? For oil. To oh, pass oh. oil. And uh, if you check here, it's hollow. Hmm. No? The, the oil pass. Yeah, the oil. Look at this. What type of what type of uh, journal is this? Main bearing. Main main journal. What type of journal is this? Crank. Cramping journal. Look, cramping journal and main journal. You have another main journal here. Look at this. This one, this one is connected with the oil pump. This journal is connected with the oil pump. The oil enter at high pressure here because the mechanical oil pump sucks the oil and the oil the oil enter in the first hole in the first hole of the crankshaft yeah in the first one you see and it start to lubricate all of the bearings all of the bearings you have bearings on the main journals you have bearings on the cramping journals what is the difference between this main journal and the other end main journal? Right. This one is only for radial, radial loads. No, one and this one is for radial and axial. Axial, both of them. Both of them for axial loads and radial loads. To avoid that the crankshaft move, move it. I have a question. Is possible that only the bearings of these pistons are where for some reason and the rest of the pistons and the rest of the connect, uh, main journals are running in good condition no, because those know. those cavities are clogged and the lubrication not circulate here in this piston uh, uh, bearing. Correct. It's lack of lubrication specifically in this area. Look at this. This connecting rod, this piston was seized for a high temperature. The piston rings are, this one are in good condition, that piston was working with good lubrication in comparison with this. This one should be replaced. This one, in this piston, yes, I can. I can replace those piston rings, clean the piston, verify the piston, and uh, reuse the piston. And uh, those bearings are in good condition. But if you replace those bearings, the recommendation is replace all of them. Okay, guys, I have the crankshaft. I remove the main journals. I remove the pistons, uh, I order new pistons, new bearings, new piston rings, the crankshaft, uh, uh, I send the crankshaft to the matching shop, and they, they did the dynamic balance, the dynamic balance on the crankshaft. What is the dynamic balance? Is put the crankshaft to rotate at high speed, at the same speed that the, the crankshaft is rotating in the real engine, and uh, they replace those elements in each cramping for a couple of aluminum weights with the same, the same weight of this on the scale. They put this one with piston rings, connecting rod on the scale. Ah, it's, it's uh, two pounds and 45 grams. Okay, and they put a couple of elements in aluminum here with exactly the same weight exactly the same weight in each in each cramping. They put the original harmonic balancer and they put in the back the original flywheel and they connect one bell in the middle and they put to rotate the system completely. Yeah? Because they replace those pistons with connecting rods, piston rings and bearings with the 
couple of pieces of aluminum with the same weight. And now it's rotating. And, and the machine, the computer said, in which, in which, look at this. This is the cramp pin, mm -hmm. and this is the opposite pedal, yeah. the counter weight. weight, to compensate to compensate the momentum created for the piston. So the piston located here produces a momentum. And this one, in the 180 degrees opposite, creates a counterweight. Correct. And the computer said, in the second counterweight, remove 25 grams. They bring the brill, remove That's the remove metal. This is why you have drills here, drills here, you see? Because they remove metal here, and once again, they put to rotate, and the computer said in number three, remove one gram. Remove one gram here, and once again rotate until the, the, the computer says zero. Zero is in balance. No Pay attention to this, guys. You remember how difficult it was for you to remove the harmonic balancer in both engines? You spend a lot of time, and you practically damage one tool because, ah! Yeah. Finally, you discover that you need to remove the, It's not easy. That was fast as well. Look at this. We have in front the harmonic balancer. In the back, the flywheel. That system is the whole system. That system is the whole system. When I send the system for dynamic balance, I send this, I send the flywheel, the crankshaft, and all, all of them, and they balance the system. Uh, yeah, it's clear? Oh, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. It's, 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 a, it's a nice process. Pay attention. You check when you remove this harmonic balancer that uh, the harmonic balancer is, ba is basically one center metallic ring and other outer ring separated for a rubber band. Piece of rubber here, rubber, elastic here. What is the function of the external rubber with, uh, with the rubber here? What is the function? Knock Look at this. Here is the chaff, the crank chaff. This one is going here, and that one tried to go opposite. And, 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 and? Balance. Balance. For that reason, the name of this is? Look at this. You see the rubber? Mm -hmm. You see the piece of rubber here? OK, when you use the extractor no appropriated to remove this one. You use external extractors and you break that rubber. And the people say, no, loose, loose. No, my, my friend, it's crack. Because you remove this, this balancer with that tool, with that extractor. And this is not the extractor to remove harmonic balancers. You need a special harmonic balancer puller. For that reason, my recommendation is, if you remove harmonic balancer, replace harmonic balancer. When you send this harmonic balancer uh -huh. with this and the flywheel to the machine shop and they return, they recommend, hey, my friend, we recommend replace this one because this one produces unbalance. Or they replace and in the, in the build, they added the new one. Balance. In some cases, they replace also the flywheel because the flywheel is? That's okay. Okay, let me, let me explain something. You hear that the people say, I don't know what happened. In my engine, I replace new pistons, new bearings, new timing belts, the head is new one, practically new alternator, new star motor. I rebuild the engine completely. The only old one from the previous is crunch up and block, but the rest is new. <coughs> and the engine was assembled for a professional guy. And uh, right now, that engine is running, it's perfect. But the sound, in comparison with this one, the new one, is completely different. It's running good, and I am happy. But uh, the sound is not the same. My friend, because uh, you repair that engine, like I said, but uh, you never balance the system. You never send this, and this, and this, and this, and this, to the machine shop to balance. Uh, OK, it's running. It's good. But you see, in idle, that engine is a little in comparison with the new one. The new one is perfect. Can I get that one exactly in the same condition that the new one? Yes, yeah. if you balance the system. Yeah. 